So what should we do now because of what's going on in Israel? Mm -hmm. What we should do is be 10 times more proud that we are Jews, that we are we and not them. When you make a bracha in the morning, thank you for not making me a non-Jew, dance. It's, it is such a blessing. They're trying to embarrass us or make us feel guilty. Do the exact opposite. We are the chosen people. And it's so fantastically good. So be proud of your Jewishness, not of the army. Hey, we can fight pretty good. That's not being proud of your Jewishness. Be proud of the mitzvahs, be proud of the Torah, be proud of, proud of the sages, because all morality, all wisdom, and all godliness is what we got at Mount Sinai. And we're willing to share it with the rest of the world if they would just stop shooting at us. So it's like a classroom. We're the teachers. We have a lot of good stuff to teach, but the students are climbing the walls and swinging from the chandeliers. So our message to them is, quiet down, get in your seats, and I will teach you right from wrong, because you have no idea. You have that courage, that conviction? What did it take to convince ourselves that the world has no good opinion about anything? Anti-Semitism is just one of their stupidities. They're stupid about everything. They don't even know what a woman is. Somebody was saying, you know, you know what they did in Israel? You know what they they mutilated kids. They were mutilating kids. And somebody said, oh, you mean what we're doing to the trans kids here in America? Are we not mutilating kids? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a scary thought? What, you think they're weird and they're the exception? No. We're doing it here in America, but we package it nicer. We do it in the hospital. It's barbaric. It's absolute barbaric. And they're proud of themselves. The world is so unhealthy. It's a pity on the world. How can we educate the world? If they would stop shooting, we'll find a way. I'm <laughs> saying if this, can't sh if this is not enough of an event to, sh to oh, shape it is. the world. It is. When the dust settles, the world is going to say, all right, we get it. We get it. Hamas is not an exception. We're all still barbaric. That's going to be the, the long-term outcome of this. Beating up Hamas, of course, that's, that's just getting rid of an annoyance. But how is the world going to become healthy? When the world realizes we don't know anything anymore, We'll step in and we'll become the teachers and the world will become a good learning place instead of a shooting range. So learn all you can because every, every statement in Torah is important and necessary. Things have not changed. 
Like somebody said, you know, the Torah was given 3,000 years ago. Don't you think the laws should change? I said, I said, if you invent a new sin, we'll make a new law. So far, we got the same old sins. The world hasn't changed. And that's a tragedy for the world. If you want to fix the world, learn. Learn. The world is going to want to hear from you. You've got to have what to say. I mean, even now, the whole world's attention is on Israel. We're in the spotlight, and we're holding the microphone. Say something important. We have a right to defend ourselves. We're such a baby. The whole world is listening, and that's all you have to say. We're a democracy. Pathetic. The world would love us if we started to speak like the chosen people because they know we're the chosen people. They're frustrated that we don't act like it. When President Reagan was president, he was going off to some place in Germany, some Nazi thing, it had been a Nazi thing. Eli Wiesel was at a meeting with the president before he left. And he said out loud in front of all the people there, Mr. President, don't go. You don't belong there. And the Jewish community panicked. You can't tell a president what to do. What's wrong with you? You're going to cause all, all sorts of anti-Semitism. It didn't. It got the respect. When we talk like we know what we're saying, the world loves it. Teach the world morality, and they will love you for it. 